What's up guys, it's iClassic, welcome to another video and today I wanted to show you guys the evolution of the iPhone box and how it's changed over the years. Now I can't possibly go through every single phone that Apple's released but I'm going to be showing you guys the iPhone 3G. This was one of the fattest iPhone boxes ever, followed by the iPhone 5, this phone came out in 2012, the iPhone 10 or the X 2017 and of course the 13 Pro. Now, starting off with the 3G, this was, like I said, one of the fattest iPhone boxes. It was a pretty cool unboxing experience. I know my last video covered this phone, but I just want to go back into this device because there's a lot of neat things in here that we don't really see anymore. And one of the things I want to show you guys was, of course, the Apple stickers. Now, back in 2008 when this phone came out, the Apple stickers used to look completely different. They had like this diagonal look to them with like a little border. And we don't see that anymore and we also don't get two Apple stickers anymore. So this is really nice to see back in 2008. And as you guys can see, the actual plastic wrap on the phone was literally plastic. It wasn't paper like what we get on the iPhone 12 and the 13. And we can't forget about the wall adapter. It's crazy to think that Apple took this away, but it was nice to have it while it lasted. And the 30 pin connector, it's pretty nostalgic. This was the older designs and the headphones would go there, but unfortunately I don't have them. And of course we had the iPhone 5, and this phone came out in 2012, uh, but the thing I love about this box is just how thin it was. The phone would show up just at the top, pretty similar to how the iPhone 3G used to show up. The plastic uh, little shell right there was still pretty standard, and we had this little pull-up thing. Uh, but the thing that was different here was that the actual manuals like slid out you didn't actually have to open them up like a flap and the contents inside the box were also standard we had the wall adapter um, as well as the actual charger um, but this time it was lightning and of course the headphones this is one of my favorite design because they used to come in a little case uh, like a little carrying case and it's sad that we don't see that anymore now onto the iPhone 10. this was personally one of my favorite boxes, and as you guys can see, it was a tiny bit thicker than the iPhone 5 box, but it didn't necessarily mean that the box was getting bigger from that point on. Now inside the box itself, it was pretty standard. We did not see the phone as the first thing. We actually had to pull back the little flap to reveal the phone, and inside of this little flap was pretty standard, but the good thing was we did get two Apple stickers, which was nice. Now we also had the plastic wrap and of course the lightning ear pods, uh, these did come with a lightning adapter and most importantly the charger. In 2017 we were still getting the iPhone charger which is crazy to think about because this charger is literally the same size as the iPhone 13 box but obviously it wouldn't fit in there because the actual iPhone 13 is way too thick. And of course, when you stack these phones next to each other, it looks like the iPhone 10 box could fit about two iPhone 13s, which is pretty cool to see. And now let's take a look at Apple's most recent phone, the iPhone 13 Pro. Now this phone doesn't have any plastic wrap like the iPhone 12 did, and it's probably a lot more environmentally friendly just because there's only two pull tabs now. Uh, but the phone itself, I mean, it's the first thing that we see. There's a little camera cutout as well. Uh, but the main thing to point out here is the fact that it has a little paper pull tab down to reveal the screen so it's not really like the plastic one that we've seen on pretty much every other phone I think before the iPhone 12. And inside this little packet, unfortunately, we only get the uh, one Apple sticker and then the SIM ejector tool and then all the paperwork. Um, so it kind of sucks that Apple had to cut down but I guess to fit everything inside it made the most sense. And then of course we have the Type-C to Lightning cable, um, but it's pretty interesting. I mean, this box is so thin, it's pretty crazy to believe uh, how Apple was able to kind of put everything into this one box. And I did want to point out that the pull tab itself, it's probably more of like an anti-counterfeit uh, thing. Uh, I think I read about that somewhere online, but it seems like Apple uh, wanted to design it from the inside, so it'll be really hard to reseal this phone. But anyways guys, take a look at these Apple stickers to see how much they've changed over the years and even the material has changed as well. It seems like the one on the 13 is more of like a paper material. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.